Hey guys, what's up? I made a video earlier about um, why alcohol is bad for you, but the shit fucking stopped and I didn't even know and I was talking for like five minutes and the shit stopped at like one minute because I forgot to delete my previous videos that I had made for you guys and it was a whole bunch. So my memory card was pretty much full and I didn't know. So I'm sitting there talking to the fucking camera, cracking a whole bunch of jokes and you know, when I finally look at it, it's just memory card full. And I'm like, well, for how long you been full, dickhead? I press play. And the shit stops at like 40 seconds. But anyway, um, alcohol, why it's bad for you? I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna make this video real quick. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the whole body, with the way your body burns energy, right? You, you know, protein in your blood, carbs, then fat, right? Your body doesn't start with protein, empties it out, then goes to carbs, empties it out, and then burns fat. No, it doesn't work like that. Your body starts burning from all three. But the only thing that changes is the percentage. Like your body will burn a higher percentage of protein and carbs and a lower percentage of fat to begin with. Then later on, depending on, depending on the intensity of your workout, as you increase the intensity of your workout, your body switches gears and starts burning a lot more fat to preserve your glycogen, I mean your, your carbs, because your body really needs carbs for other essential functions other than just weightlifting and running, like your brain and, and a whole bunch of stuff to keep your body healthy. So your carbs will never be at zero, right? Your glycogen will never be at zero because by the time it reaches a level where it's too low, your body switches gears and starts burning a lot more fat. But the protein in your blood is the first thing that's going to be gone because your body doesn't store proteins. It uses it to repair your muscles, and that's about it. And, you know, to do other things, you know, but it doesn't store. Your body doesn't have an area where it stores protein. So really, the protein that's in your blood is going to get burnt off for energy before you even reach the, 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 the serious fat burning stage because you really... If you're, in the, if you're in fat burning mode, you know, throughout the day, you know, you have a good metabolism, you kind of, you kind of like almost burning fat all the time. But anyway, the bad thing about alcohol is that it adds to that cue. So now instead of having protein, carbs, and then fat, now it's alcohol, protein, carbs, and fat. So your alcohol actually hinders your body's inability to burn fat and it lowers your testosterone, which is really bad. Anyway, that's it. And yeah, best way to do it is to get up in the morning after you drink alcohol and try to run that shit off. But you really lose them because you could have been doing the exercise without the alcohol and you would have burned a lot more fat. You know what I'm saying? So it adds to the cue really bad, fucks up your liver, lowers your testosterone, you know, hinders your fat burning process, gives you hangovers, stay away from alcohol, all right? And yeah, that's about it. What else about alcohol? The rest, you guys pretty much know the basic stuff, you know. Other than getting killed and shit. That's another thing alcohol does for us bodybuilders. So I learned my lesson. I'm gonna stay away from that for now. And yeah, I like I like burning fat. You know, I actually wanna burn fat. I don't want something else to add to the fucking cue, so now I gotta worry about alcohol being burned. It takes like twenty four hours for alcohol to leave your system. So I don't have to worry about alcohol leaving. Like I don't wanna run eight miles and come back and be like, Oh man, damn, all I burned was alcohol? No fat? It's bullshit. You know, I want if I'm running, I want to be, I want to burn that. I hate burning protein, but I can't control that. But I want to burn my glycogen and my fat. I don't want the shit to be slowed down because of alcohol. All right. So think about that next time you, you know, you drink a beer, doing the football game, whatever. I know it's hard, but hey, bring your bottle of water and focus on drinking your gallon of water a day. You know, you won't have to worry about drinking beer if you have that gallon following you around, or you keep refilling your water bottles. Chances are you probably won't even drink, all right? But anyway, ask my question, guys. Interact with me. Love you guys.